Most financial transactions are posted to the general ledger in Business Central via their respective business documents, like purchase orders and sales invoices. We can also post transactions in Business Central using the many different journals that are available. Every journal type is set up with its own journal template. These templates are then used to specify information for specific batches that are created using these templates. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to set up a new general journal template. We'll begin by going to the page by searching for it. And on this page, you can see a number of existing general journal templates. We'll create a new one using the function in the ribbon here. And this one will be for purchases. So uh, to begin, we'll use the name field, which is our unique identifier to label our template elaborate in the description. And the next field that we see here is the type field. This is used to provide us with a specific structure and function that is relevant to the type. The options available here are general sales, purchases, cash receipts, payments, assets, intercompany, and jobs. For now, we'll select purchases as that's what we're dealing with. The next available field is the recurring field. Recurring tells us if the journal will be used to make recurring entries. All journal types can be enabled as recurring journals. We'll leave ours unticked for now. Uh, journals tend to delete their lines once they have been posted. Uh, recurring journals allow for the lines to remain to enable periodic posting. We'll look at this in more detail in a later module. The balancing account type and number fields indicate what balancing account will be populated through by default in all the journal lines for this journal. We'll leave this as GL account. The number series and posting number series fields indicate which number series will be used to assign document numbers to the line in the journal batches. We'll make use of a specific number series here, which will be our one for general journal purchases. This is one that has been set up previously. The posting number series is what the document number for the entries will be after they're posted. If you wish to have something different from the original, this can be populated. Leaving these fields blank, both the number series and the posting number series, will mean that any entries that you create, any lines that you create, will need to have the document number populated manually. Our remaining fields we can see here are the source code, which identifies the point of origin for an entry. This is used for auditing, and this is filled in automatically when we select the type, as you can see there. The reason code uh, is used to specify why an entry was made, which is again used for auditing purposes, the audit trail functionality. Force document balance specifies whether entries that are posted in this general journal uh, template must balance by document number and document type. If this is unticked, the program will balance the journal by date only. There's the field copy VAT setup to journal lines, which when selected, the general posting type and VAT posting groups on the lines of the selected journal template will be automatically populated with the defaults from the account and balancing accounts. We have increment batch name, which specifies if the batch names that are used in, in this template, that are using this template rather, are automatically incremented. For example, for this particular journal template, if we have a batch 01 and we post a journal using that batch, the following batch is then automatically labeled batch 02. Our final field that we have here is allow VAT difference. When this option is selected, it determines if the manual adjustment of VAT amounts is allowed in the journal. With this done, with the journal template created, we can move on to the next stage, which is creating this template's batches.